So, what do we want to do with this here chicken? Um. um what well, do? Uh, what do you want to do? Oh my! Why do I always have to pick what we do? Why? Why can't anyone else make a decision? Ever? Oh my gosh! Get over it. He's such a jerk. Don't listen to him. He's just a jerk. With another episode of Smash Bros. It's your old pal Hollywood. It's your chicken. Let's do it. We're gonna start by quartering this chicken. Now, step one is to get out the wishbone. You feel the bone, just pierce that breast meat, follow the bone. You can totally tell where it is. It's a big old bone. So, one side done. Second side. Right the bone. All right, so I cut along the bone right there, and on the other side, and just get your finger and thumb up in there and pluck that baby out. It doesn't always come out whole. It's okay if it doesn't. I don't think this one's gonna. Oh, there you go. That is sharp. Be careful. Next, we're gonna remove the leg. So there's this definite line on each side, right here. You know, breast meat, legs. So, we're gonna take our knife, just follow that line, cut through all that skin, it's all skin and fat right here, you're not gonna lose any meat. And you can open it up, you can see the side of the breast right there. We cut through this part too. So now we've opened up the leg. Now, once we get to that point, you're popping out the leg from the socket morbid but that's what it is. So you have a hold of your leg and just give it a pop. Sometimes you can hear it. I just did it and you couldn't hear it that time. Anyway, our leg is free from the joint so we're going to cut around that meat. Now there's a bone right here as well on each side. I just follow my knife along that bone so we don't lose any of that delicious, delicious leg meat because it's the best. In my opinion. So here's that socket like I was talking about. Just cut around that baby. And we have one leg. We will trim that fat up eventually. It's pretty much useless. It's just gonna burn on the grill. Anyway, same thing, other side. There's that line. Give her a slice. down to this part. Where we, yes, give it a slice. Okay. Now, hopefully we can hear the socket pop on this side. Give it a shot. Kind of. A little bit. So our socket is removed, or our joint is removed from the socket, rather. And we're gonna come back, follow this bone right here, just ride bone with your blade. Okay, so I opened up, trim the rest of that, skin and fat, and there's that socket, or the bone from the socket, and we're just cutting around that. Again, you want to hug your knife to the side of any bones so we don't lose any of that lovely, lovely leg meat. So, there we go. Again, I'm going to cut that off right when we marinate it, but there we have it. The wings, there's three sections of the wing, your tip, your flat, and your drumette. We are just going to go like this, boom, done. Magic, cuts right through that joint like butter. Butter. Now, the back. All we do is take it, grab it, snap. I'm gonna cut that. 
put that in our bone pile for some stock. And the fun part. Okay, so we have the shrimp cage. We need it out of our way. So I'm gonna take my French knife, put it through the cavity, riding the rib cage as close as we can. Put it all the way through. I am currently on the right side of the spine. And just push down with force. Cuts all the way through pretty easily. Same thing on the other side, the left side of the backbone. Okay, one more time. And out comes the rest of the backbone. Again, save it for stock. We have a cartilage, which is that chunk right there. I'm gonna take our knife, give it a quick little, like so. I'm gonna try to open it up without breaking it. Breaking it, and it broke. Whatever. That's okay. And this big old chunk right here is just a solid piece of cartilage. Now just take that, and you can just rip the skin and the meat rather from the cartilage, and then it should just pop right out. <laughs> did you fart or did the chicken? Chicken farted. Okay, that's ripping a little bit. So, anyway, take it a little, give it a little cut if you need. Out comes that chunk again. Stock gold. So that's out. Take your center of your two breasts here. Give her a slice. And there you have quarter chicken. Now we're going to clean this up, move on to the marinade. Okay, step one for the marinade, the jerk marinade. One big old Spanish onion. Throw that right in our ninja. Weird, right? Crazy good. Right up in there. Two habaneros. If you want to take the seeds out, do you. I'm not going to. We like that heat up in here. We want that smoke. Now, this is one bunch of green onions or scallions. I'm gonna take three, no, I'm, not. I'm gonna take four. Just cut the nubs off. Again, save those for stock as well. And just rip chop those babies. Come in there and everything else. Bam. Make sure you drop one. It's uh, part of the recipe. Roughly. Tablespoon of some Earl. Gonna do six garlic cloves. One, two, three, four, five, six. Smash. Oh, that was already out. Cool. One. Cloves of the garlic, not the garlic. Okay, next. Half cup of the soy sauce. Boop. This much ginger, fresh ginger. Put it right up in there. I blend the living crap out of it anyway. Okay, so obviously. I want to wake up the flavor, okay? Well, I must cheat my little ear tapes. <laughs> it's good for you, right? Tablespoon, light pack of some brown sugar. Now we're gonna do two. We're gonna do two. Brown sugar. Chinese five spice. We're gonna do a tablespoon of that as well. Spoon ground allspice because you need it. Thyme, dried thyme. We're gonna do, you've guessed it, a tablespoon. And we have some ground nutmeg here. Ground nutmeg. A little goes a long, long way. We're gonna do a half teaspoon of the ground nutmeg. 
You can use fresh if you can find it. I don't think it makes too much of a difference, especially in that marinade. But whatever. And last but not least, a tablespoon of the black pepper. We're gonna zip this up to a paste and we'll slap it on our chicken and let it sit overnight. So we're gonna to my favorite kitchen tool ever. The ninja. As you can see, this turned into quite the paste. Um, even though we only added, the only liquid we added was oil and soy sauce, but you know, vegetables are mostly water, aren't they? So I'm gonna give that, push that stuff down real quick. Two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegars. One more zip. Okay, we will take this. Give it a quick taste test. Good. That's gonna be fire. Neat. All right. I'll clean this up. We'll marinate our chicken. Okay. Now we're gonna try to keep this all in one vessel. We have two whole chickens. And they're big boys, girls rather, and a pack of thighs. So we marinate. Put everything in here. Slap in the pot. We'll do a couple at a time, just get them covered. Obviously, the more covered, the better. The more it'll marinate. Meat. Marinade? Marinade. Yep, slap it in there. I'm gonna do the rest of this, throw it in the fridge, and we will get to grilling tomorrow. Okay, it is now tomorrow. Beautiful 60 degree day in the old West Michigan. Got our panned spray. Panned, panned, panned. Put that real quick on the old grill. I'm gonna put all of our like pieces together. So, like our leg here. Put it together leg. Hot grill. Screaming hot, if you will. How hot? Screaming hot. Okay. Just size. Doing all the skin down to start, by the way. Why is that? So it can get crisp. Bird. When I'm grilling, I bring gloves. I bring some extra. So I'm like washing my hands, running inside, getting the doorknob all gross. You dig? Alright. Let those rip. Medium heat, we're looking for about 400, 425. Also, we've got our meat thermal here. We'll plug this into the, one of the gigantic breaths we have on the, the old grill here. Get your heat proof, boy, like so. And shove it right in this guy at the widest point. So when that point part is cooked right there, we'll know. You dig? Good. You can see we clearly have a little bit of a fuego under here. Yep. Nothing. Nothing wrong with that. Anyway, we're just gonna give everything a quick turn here. Oh yeah. I'm talking about. Now if you are scared of a little fire like that, take the skin off. That's all it is for fat rendering. Okay, so in a couple minutes, give them a flip. Baby. Next little dark. Okay. Yeah. Never really get too much for char in there, just pull this skin off. Woo! Okay. So we we flipped. We've turned. Let's see if that's done. It's flopping right through like butter. Obviously you can put a thermometer on there and if it hits 165! Magic number that I can tell by texture and color these legs be done. Uh, these breasts, not quite. Go ahead, take the thighs off and remove the very crispy skin. Just like we'll remove that when we go back inside. 
Oh yeah, boy. Hi, Christina. Oh. Get all that chicken. All right, let's show you how tender this is. I went to go grab it and it fell apart. So, I'm gonna cut some chunks off and give it a try. Now we're doing this family style. Um, everyone can do whatever they want with it. But, uh, you know, get you some rice, some coconut rice. Put it on a taco. I mean, endless possibilities, for real. Well, sorry for being such a grump yesterday there, there guys. Yeah. Not bad. You were kind of a jerk. Worked out though, didn't it? Yeah. Okay. Are you serious? <laughs> Yeah. Were you gonna Can try I to take it from? Yeah. <laughs>